Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. This week, we're gonna actually kind of make an update to a previous video I did just before Airfest, where I was discussing these crazy new things I had designed and invented that were nose cone electronic bays, is what they were. And these crazy little inventions that basically allowed you to turn any plastic nose cone into an electronics bay. So you had a sleeve that you glued in to a rocket nose cone, and then you could just thread in a bay that could hold anything you wanted on it. And all it required was a quarter 20 eye bolt in the bottom here, and a nut to go right in this slot, and you could just put a quarter 20 on it and fly it. And I just thought it was a cool concept that I'd come up with. Um, I dropped my four inch one on uh, printables and left it available and tons of you downloaded it. I also put it for sale on my website and I got an incredible number of sales just for like a four and a three inch version. That's all I started with. And I was amazed, especially the response at Airfest, people that were like, man, we these are things are so cool. We, we want them and I didn't have any at Airfest, unfortunately. But then I realized, you know, Locke was there, and so I was chatting with Locke on all the different nose cones he makes between Locke and PML um, stuff. And he's like, yeah, well, we've got a bunch of nose cones, and you can you can try them all out. And so so I, 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 I bought a few nose cones and kind of went a little off the deep end. Now, a bunch of you know I went off the deep end here and bought a bunch of nose cones. Like, we've got a four inch sled, we've got, this is a three, three inch lock, we've also got a three inch PML, they're actually slightly different size. Here's a PML 2.6, um, here's the lock 2.6, they actually take the same, or no, they take slightly different sleeves, but they uh, fly on the same, same sled. Like, I can take the sled out of one and put it put it right in the other. Uh, I also sell spare sleeves, so if you want to outfit all of your rockets with um, a bunch of these and have only one sled that you can swap between, you can do that. Um, I've got, this is like the smallest I've got and I'm pretty sure it's like a 1.9 or something like that. Um, I've got some 54 PML and locks and those take identical systems. So if I can get it, get a hold of it. All right, the lock one I got stuck in. But like they they sit in there really hard hard and I, I had to label them because I could never remember which one was which after you start playing with them and then someone was like well they make a three inch Estes nose cone for their big red Max and I was like oh oh I need to get a hold of that so I I got a hold of an Estes nose cone and made a sled for it and then someone was like hey you know. Uh, Balsa Machining also makes a three inch nose cone. So I got a hold of the Balsa Machining three inch nose cone, which happened to be the same size as the Estes. So like those two fit in each other, which is great. Like boom. And in the chaos of all this, I'd also bought every nose cone lock sells, lock PML. Like I bought everything they sell. I bought the 5.38 nose cone. Like made this insane sled that uses a 3 8 eye bolt in here. Um, it's also got the slot for the nut. I don't really use that. You just put a nut and washer in this gap right here and like tighten it down. Um, they're even like labeled now, the newer ones. They say IPL, like size and PNCB, which is plastic nose cone electronics bay. I like my acronyms a little too much. Um, but like some of you might know this is not the biggest nose cone lock cells. Like, Lock, Lock sells a seven and a half inch nose cone. And I was like, ooh, pretty, pretty seven, 7.5 inch nose cone. <laughs> so I, I made, this thing's kind of a pain to get out, I won't lie. It's a bit unwieldy. I made a seven and a half inch sled, which is, is like just about as wide as it is tall for this nose cone. Like, it's just utterly ridiculous. But it takes a half inch eye bolt, like half inch eye bolt right there. You put your washer and a nut there, compress everything in there, and 
this this thing shouldn't ever come come apart. Like you can mount like full blown flight computers to this sled. I thought about making it taller, but I was like, that's just 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 so unnecessary. The size of this thing is so unnecessary. But I made a seven and a half inch sled for 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 the lock seven and a half inch nose cone. I honestly don't anticipate I'm gonna sell a whole lot of these, but I just thought it was insane. The fact that like you can you can buy a seven and a half inch nose cone and this thing like looks this good. Um, it's kind of also a pain to get started on the threads. It just doesn't quite move as smoothly as the smaller ones do because you can't just get your hand around it. But Needless to say, that video I did where it's like, well, we just have a few. I got a bunch of you commenting like, well, can you make more? Well, do you have other sizes? We, we've, we've got other sizes now. Um, I've pretty much got every size of nose cone that I know that is currently on the market. Um, there is one I haven't done yet, and that is this little guy. I'm pretty sure this is a 38 millimeter. Um, I just, I have not made a 38 millimeter sled yet. I I just haven't seen the need. If a bunch of you say like, hey, we really want the 38 millimeter sled. Okay, I'll make the 38 millimeter sled. It's it's gonna be as tiny as this 1.9 was. Like the difference is gonna be very minimal. It's gonna be super small. You're not gonna be able to put a whole lot on it. It's still gonna take the quarter 20 um, eye bolt, like just tiny little sleds. Oh, I just haven't gone down that small because no one's been requesting it. If you want it, just leave a comment. I'll make it happen. It'll get uploaded in about a week um, from whenever I decide to start it. Um, but that's all of these sizes. I would love to know if you think there's more of these that like we, we could make. I've printed so many nose cone electronic bays in the last two months just trying to get them all done because it was so cool just to do the different sizes. Like I thought this this 5.38 was just massive, but then I did the seven and a half, and it's it's actually massive. Like I believe I said something along the lines of, "Oh my Batman, it's a seven and a half inch nose cone." Like this this thing is big, really really big. And so, if you're interested in checking these out for yourself. There's a link in the description below, the Inverted Pursuits Lab website. You can look up plastic nose cone electronics bays. Like they are really straightforward to find on our website. You will look through them and in that one listing, I have all of the nose cones. Those cones come with the bay and the sleeve only. All of the hardware you have to source on your own. I will also, I also sell individual sleeves. Um, so if you want just the sleeve, you can buy just the sleeve to go inside so you can swap one bay between multiple rockets. Um, that's become more popular in recent days, but I had a bunch of people leaving comments on the previous video, so I wanted to make sure all of you guys knew that there's a lot more available than just that four inch that I made that I was like, wow, this thing's really cool. We, we've got a few more now. <laughs> I feel like I've said that multiple times. It's just kind of baffling, but if you're interested, please check them out. Link in the description below. One last thing, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider liking and subscribing. The button's just right down there. Your liking and subscribing really helps out our channel a ton. Um, it helps us grow and helps us get more um, viewership from the community at large. Um, there's a bunch of us rocket tubers that really appreciate all of your guys' support and uh, comments over the years. So, again, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, guys, fly safe. I'll see you all in the next video.